Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 9 of Book 3, which states that if we have a circle, and from this circle we have two or more lines that are equal in length, then this point must be the center of the circle. So let's prove this. First thing we're going to do is draw a line from A to B and bisect it at point E and draw a line from B to C and bisect it at point F. Now we draw the line from E to D and extend it so it intersects the circle at K and G. Now if we look at these two triangles, we have EB is equal to EA because E was the bisection point of this line. BD is equal to AD, since we defined that in the original statement of this problem. And ED is common. So we have two triangles with three sides equal, which means that they're equal in all respects, which means that alpha is equal to beta. And if we have a straight line with another line intersecting it, by definition, if alpha and beta are equal, Alpha and beta are right angles. So ED is perpendicular to AB. Now, if you recall from Proposition 3.1, finding the center of the circle, if we have a line or a chord AB and another line that bisects it and is perpendicular, then the center of the circle must lie somewhere along this line kg. Carrying on, we're now going to draw the line FD and extend it out to the edges of the circle. Looking at these two triangles using the same argument as before, BF is equal to FC, DC is equal to DB, three sides equals three sides, so gamma is equal to delta, and again if gamma is equal to delta they must it must also be a right angle. Again, from Proposition 3.1, if we have a chord that's bisected and a line drawn through it at right angles, then the center of the circle must lie on the line LH. Well, if the center of the circle must lie on KG and also on HL, there's only one place where the center of the circle can be, and that is the point D. So hence we have demonstrated that if you have more than one line coming from a point in a circle where these lines are all equal, more than two lines, excuse me, then that point must be the center of the circle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.